How y'all doing tonight? <sighs> Didn't know what I was going to talk about. I just decided to come up here. You know, it's a whole new year. Year facing year uh, fears and just doing something new, you know? So uh, here I go. Um, I decided to branch off of blue here. So blue got something off of blue. Um, I wanted to tell a story about an alien named Nine. So, uh, alien named Nine, he was uh, born in Akron, Ohio, you know, from his parents that was creating the canals and stuff, you know. They had a nice night going to Wendy's and... <laughs> Y'all know where it go from there, you know, had a few drinks and stuff and created this kid named Nine. So uh, Nine was a special kid. He was the third of two older aliens, you know, um, male and female. So, but uh, Nine, he, he was a real quiet guy. Paid a lot of attention, you know. Uh, but Nine was always different. Nine just kind of stayed to himself, you know. Uh, he really didn't show too much, but people seen something special in him, you know. So uh, I know Nine, um, they figured out that Nine was an artist. He was really, really crafty, you know. Quiet but crafty. He used to see people draw. His, his uh, you know, father alien was an artiste, so, you know, he used to see his drawings and stuff, but he didn't like them too much. You know, he like, why are you drawing it like that, you know? And, you know, his father tried to press it down on him, like, you know, this is how you do it, you know? But they look like circles, you know? Like, every body part was like a circle or something, you know? He just, Nine just couldn't get with that for some reason, you know? It just was weird to him, you know? But for some reason, he liked it, the drawing aspect of it, you know? So, uh... You know, Nine's, uh, Nine's, you know, Father Alien, he also was a singer, too. By the way, where Ace Boogie got Ace Boogie from. They say Gangsta Boogie. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So, you know, seeing uh, Father Alien with the bell bottoms and Jerry Carroll's and all that stuff. <laughs> Yes, yes. I have one. <laughs> so, you know, now, nah, you know, he glad he was the youngest of them all, though, because he missed that era. You know, he just had the afro. He didn't have the, the drip, drip, greasy uh, T-shirt. Hey, 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 you know, he missed all that. So going on, you know, uh, nine, he, second grade, he used to draw these uh, stick figure army men. And, uh, you know, he fell in love with it. You know, they was just stick figures with these long guns and stuff. And you see the little dots going to the airplane and poof, all this stuff blowing up. You know, he just fell in love with it on the, uh, back in the day, they used to have dark brown paper with the thick lines and stuff, you know. Supposed to be writing his letters, but he drawing pictures. Nine just was a rebel, wasn't paying attention. So, you know, it just goes on. Now, he loved it. Next thing you know, he just going up through school and Everybody knew he was an artist, you know, and like, draw me a picture, draw me this, man. Draw me going down the street looking like this, you know. <laughs> it, it, was, it was funny, man, because he had, a, he had a, a friend, you know, his name was Hog C. And he used to ride down the street on his bike like, hey, nine, man, draw me drinking this 40, man, right down the street. You know, just, he was real silly. So, uh, you know, as time passed, you know, nine gets older. And he gets into middle school. He realized he was different, you know, always walking home from school. He used to just have his headphones on. He used to look like a parade every day after school. It was just so many kids just walking home from school. But nine, he just always had his headphones on, you know, and walking with his book bag. Everybody thought he was good in school. He like, no, man, I ain't good, man, you know. Check my grades out, you know, trying to prove that he was, you know, bad with the other kids and stuff. I don't know why kids gotta, why they gotta prove to be bad. Like, just, you know, like, 
Right, you know, represent, man. Be a good kid, you know. Yeah. He wasn't good though. He just had that look. I don't know. Might have been the might have been the glasses or something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, you know, so um nine, he started getting famous for his drawings and stuff, you know, he did the yearbook cover and drawing these tennis shoes and Bugs Bunny drooping his pants and Taz and all that. I don't, you know, y'all know the Looney Tunes characters. But uh, you know, uh, Nine always had a problem though. Even though he was special, he was different from everybody else, so it kind of affected him. Cause you know, just on that different level, you kind of a loner. You know, you just out there on Mars. That's my Mars. That's my Mars being. Oh, the alien too. So I'm, I'm Marsed out. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm in. <laughs> so yeah, you know, um, he always battled with who he was because you just being different, you know. So uh, time goes on. Time goes on. That's where you fast forward. <laughs> So we, we get into high school, you know, he's still doing his thing, doing his sports and all that. Yeah, everybody like Nine. But Nine just still got that inside issue. Nine just still having troubles just knowing who Nine is. Tried to read the Bible, all that dust thou stuff. What is this? I don't understand it, you know? Right, yes, yes, King James, you know, you just, what thou witherest you doing over there? It's all right. So he couldn't find it in the, the Bible, you know, so. But uh, <laughs> Nine just, uh, you know, his uh, mother, mother alien just always kind of compared Nine to other aliens and stuff like growing up through childhood. Like, you know, wow, they do dishes, they do chores and all that stuff. So, you know, Nine, that was a lot of his battle, you know, because, you know, you got it from at home. But uh, anyways, so. <laughs> Nine ended up going to college. College, I ain't gonna say which college. It's real close. <laughs> very, very. So, you know, he went there. He tried to take his talents to that college. But that college, yes, all nine of them. But they were just teaching him stuff he already knew. I'm paying for this. Oh yeah, I'm not. I did say I, oh, 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 see. It still got a nice spin, it still got a nice spin, I know. I gave it away, yes. But he was there, but he's so close to home, all his friends and everything, and you ain't learning nothing in school, so eventually he dropped out. So, nine just going on with life. 10 years later, he finally goes to a college in a place called Cleveland. Lakewood, to be exact. But everybody know Cleveland. Anyways, <laughs> right, <laughs> you know, you know how you do it. People be having to name that big city just so they can sound cool. So, uh, yeah, well, nine, he goes there and um, he fell in love with it. It's a small, small, very small school. And you know what stood out to that, to nine at that school? The lights was off in the bathroom. <laughs> it felt like home. Okay, it, 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 it didn't feel like no cops. I'm like, wow, the lights off in here. I gotta turn them on. Like, you know, it just was so small, and you know, everybody was cool. That really stood out to Nine. So, you know, he uh, that school really blessed Nine because out of all the other colleges, they make you take all these crazy courses and take all your money first before they give you what you need to get. They gonna rape you, strip you dry first. You know, business first. So anyway, this college, they poured into nine. They was like, man, we got all this stuff that we can give to you. You know, you can, you can edit, uh, do web design, graphic design, Photoshop, everything. You know, nine was in love, like, whoo. Besides that, it was a fashion school first, so the ladies, man, it was like 50 to two. Tell him, <laughs> in that little school, man, it was whoo, yes. I had a girlfriend at the time mostly, so it was a struggle. But, um, yeah. But anyways. <laughs> so, you know, Nine ended up graduating. He got all these uh, gifts that they handed to him, you know, because they like, we want you to be a good ROI. 
return on investment when you get a business, get in a business. So I never worked for nobody though. I still got the envelope they gave me that was some, they said don't open it till you meet your business person or something. Never used it anyways. I always just been a, on myself or something, you know. I, did, I was working at the hospital, that's right. Yeah, let me take you out. So I was working there, I was doing transport. I'm sorry, man, nine, my bad, not me. Isn't it, isn't it nine, my bad. <laughs> Y'all all forgot, okay. <laughs> <What did you say>? <laughs> right. <laughs> so, you know, he, uh, he at the hospital, and they like, oh, man, you here? This is an awesome job, man, yeah. I'm like, man, that's a college job. Care about no hospital? Nah, you know, he just never cared for working for nobody. So, um, oh, okay, I thought they was talking to me. Anyways, <laughs> thought that was a nurse or something. Like, hold on, let me talk about my job. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, so, forget that job. He just was like, yeah, I'm cool. And now I ain't working for himself, doing the art, airbrushing. Next thing you know, he getting the tattoos and all that stuff. Everybody had a lot of stuff to say. Because I was a deep, born again Christian. And you know, they don't believe in marking your body up and all that, so, you know. But now I didn't care. Now I just kept doing his own thing, he prayed. I was like, yes, my son. Do tattoos. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, finally, five weeks later, you answer. <laughs> <laughs> so he ended up doing it, seeing it's a good thing with that. But nine, you know, nine was still struggling with being just nine. But then, you know, nine met somebody and met other people growing up. I'm gonna just use this person because this person is very near and, and dear to nine. Let's just call him Ghost. Ghost, woo. <laughs> Ghost was this guy that really poured into nine, you know, that really just seen a lot of talent in nine, you know? So uh, they really, they'd go up to this spot and communicate. It felt like a spaceship. It was just high, like, you know? And, they just, every time they zoned out, it was like, they was just gone. As Soon as it was over, she was just like, you kicking me out? You know, just, it, was, it was pretty, it was sad, but, you know, um, Nine just started realizing something, just seeing just different stuff, just started seeing his capabilities and how he made people feel and just really giving his heart out, you know. Nine just always gave his heart out with everything that he'd done. So uh, eventually, Nine changed his name. Changed his name to 10. And everybody was wondering why, you know. He just like, I'm 10 Talents. You know, he had a little boogie with him and stuff, a little different walk, like, I'm 10 Talents around here, you know what I mean? So he was just doing it. And so he just started building on himself, you know, confidence just started rising and rising, you know. and. Some people call him Blue, which is me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, it's just, uh, he fought past all them struggles of feeling like nine, not feeling like himself, and now he's 10 talents, and everybody know, like, man, you got like 50 for real. <laughs> you know, I just, uh, I went back to King James and kept it biblical, like the 10 talents and stuff. I ain't burying my stuff, anybody that know the word, all that stuff. But just out here to show the world, doing his thing, so now he, Tattoos, airbrushing, made a movie. You need to check it out, Honey Miles. That's my commercial spin. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Find it on YouTube. Yes, YouTube. Find it on Facebook. You can find that shit on YouTube. Yes, we're aliens. That's my alien brother right there. I'm telling you. Yes. <laughs> Shout out to all the filmmakers, and I appreciate Blue, man. He was. Always been there, man. Love you, guy, for real. But yes, I just, you know, do all this. And wherever you at, however you feel about yourself, how am I always turning something into positivity? I don't know. Just love yourself. Do what you got to do, regardless. Go from 9 to 10 because you're complete, you're full, whatever that means, all that number stuff. That's what it is, you know? And that's it. <laughs>